welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really exciting video because I did receive this new ColourPop Lovestruck collection. So I believe it is called Lovestruck, even though I have this little piece of paper here, it says a novel romance. So I'm not sure what the official name is, but basically it is these five beautiful little mini palettes here that are so adorable and they're all very romantic. You're getting like a mix of mattes and like glitters and metallics in them and they're just so cute. They're mini and they all have like different color themes. So I'm so excited to actually use one of these palettes for you guys in this video because the video that I posted before this one is going to be a swatch video of all five palettes and like my first impressions on like the textures and the quality and everything. So if you guys want to see swatches of every single shadow and like my first impressions, then I will link that video in the description box because it will be up before this one. So this collection has five mini little eyeshadow palettes. So in the swatch video, you guys will see everything. So I'm not going to go into detail of every palette, but I am going to do a tutorial using one of these palettes and I think I do want to film a tutorial using each palette separately so if you guys do want to see that then let me know because I will use every single palette that I have here so Colourpop did send me this collection as PR but I am not sponsored in any way so you guys will get my 100% honest and truthful opinion but I am so grateful that they did send me this collection for free so that was so sweet of them and I'm just really excited because this is like the first collection that I'm using in 2021 and I was so excited when I saw this online because I just think the palettes look so beautiful so let's just see how these apply on the eyes. I do have the swatch video, so it's a little bit different when you're wearing it on the eyes and when you're swatching it. So I think for the first video tutorial using one of these palettes, I'm going to use this palette over here called Ballad. And it says here that this one has gunmetal, mattes, metallics, and pearls. So this is definitely more of a cool toned shadow palette, but I do want to use it because I think it looks so pretty and I'm going to save the warmer tones for a little bit later. So my first tutorial is going to be using this palette over here called Ballad. And I know a lot of people are comparing these to like the Natasha Denona mini little palettes because it's kind of like the same packaging in the sense that you can see it's like a clear plastic. So you can see the colors of the shadows through the palette, which I think is actually really nice. And it kind of just makes knowing what kind of look you want to do a little bit quicker because you can just right away, you see the colors of the palette. So I think that is very nice. And this palette is beautiful. Now I'm going to apply them on my eyes. So let's just get right into this. I am going to prime my eyelids. And also I'm going to put some under eye setting powder underneath my eyes because I don't want to ruin my foundation or concealer if there's any fallout using the shadow. So I'm just going to place some under eye setting powder. I am going to use the ColourPop no filter one in case you guys want to know. And that's just a great trick when you have your makeup already done so you don't ruin it. And let's just get started. So I will zoom you guys in so you can see my eyes much better. So I'm just gonna be putting this NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base in the shade Light on my lids and I'm just gonna blend that out with my fingertips. Okay, so now in the crease, I'm gonna use this ColourPop E22 blending brush here, and I'm gonna go into this beautiful light taupey matte shade here called Epic, and I'm just gonna place that all in the crease and really blend that in because I want a lot of that shadow in my crease. beautiful it's very pigmented it's buttery and there's not that much fallout and I'm not really trying not to have fallout because I'm pretty heavy-handed but I use shadows so that's why this under eye setting powder is a must if my makeup is done and I really love that shade there it is a little bit more like pigmented when you actually apply it on your eyes and when you're actually looking at it and it's definitely like a nice kind of like deep kind of gray shade with a little bit of like purple undertones in there. So it's really, really pretty and it's like the perfect like cool tone to crease shade. Then I think taking that same ColourPop E22 brush, I wanna go into this pearl shade here called Fate. So I'm just gonna also place that into the crease and see if I can deepen it up a bit. That's also really pretty and it's just like a little bit deeper. It adds like a nice, Kind of like middle tone depth in the crease there and even though there are like those little pearl shimmers inside you don't really see it when you're placing it on the eye it's just like very very subtle so this is definitely more of like a satin kind of shadow okay 
Okay, so now going in with this ColourPop E23 brush, I'm gonna go into the deepest shade here in this palette called Pros. And that is like a really nice, like really deep, almost like black gray with a little bit of those like kind of like silvery blue pearls inside. So I'm just gonna focus that more towards the outer corner of my eyes. shadow is blending out really nicely and it's definitely deepening up the crease there and I really love the way it looks so far it's even nice just like leaving it matte but I do want to definitely dip into those gorgeous metallics so that's what we're gonna do of course I'm just kind of taking that deeper shade there and just kind of smoking it out and creating a little bit of like kind of that cat eye effect just to add a really nice smoky kind of cat eye look so I definitely want to go into that gorgeous silver metallic shade called Drama, but before that I'm going to place a little bit of this NYX glitter primer. So I always like to use this glitter primer, especially when I use like any kind of glitters of course, or even metallics, because I just feel like they pop even more and they last all day long. So I'm not going to change anything. I am going to add a little bit of this to my lids there. I'm just going to place it on the inner corner mostly because I do want to just focus that metallic on the inner corner and leave the outer corner nice and matte and smoky. Okay, so now that I have that primer on, I'm gonna go in with this ColourPop E25 brush here, and I'm gonna go into that stunning metallic shade in the palette called Drama, and I'm just gonna place that all on the lid there, especially on the inner corner. So I'm just kind of like packing in that beautiful silvery shade. It's definitely like a gunmetal silver, as you can see. It's like not like really like metallic, like neon silver, if you guys know what I mean, but it's definitely more of like a dark, Gun metal silver, but it's beautiful. And I'm just gonna blend that all on the lid. Okay, so I love the way that silver looks and I do wanna use the last shadow in the palette that I haven't used yet, which is this beautiful like champagne, like frosty shade there called Novel. That's just a stunning shade and that's gonna look amazing on the inner corners of the eyes. So I do wanna actually bring that a little bit on the inner corners, but before I do that, I'm gonna wipe away all the fault that we have there so we can continue finishing up this eye and doing the lower lash line. So I'm just taking this fluffy brush here and wiping away all that under eye powder. As you can see, it just wipes everything off and the makeup has been saved. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this little ColourPop brush here. I love this brush for the inner corner. This is the ColourPop E29 brush. I'm gonna go into that stunning champagne shade here called Novel. This is like almost like a really like frosted champagne. It's so pretty. So I'm gonna place it on the inner corners and then I'm gonna also like drag it a little bit like further on the inner corners just to really like brighten the eyes. Wow. Look how bright that is. This honestly reminds me, I don't know if you guys remember that MAC eyeshadow called Nylon Frost, I believe. That used to be, I remember like the shadow. I used to like place it like all underneath my brows and on the inner corner and I was literally like frosted eyes, but I used to love that shadow. So this literally reminds me of the MAC Nylon Frost and I'm not mad at it. I think it is like so pretty. It's like really pigmented and bright. So I'm just gonna like drag that a little bit further in. Oh, so that is like totally bright. I love it. I think it's so pretty. So and now to finish out the look, let's do the lower lash line. I'm actually gonna go in with this ColourPop E27 brush and into that kind of like medium tone gray shade here called Fate. And I'm just gonna smoke that on the lower lash line. So I think I just want to leave it at that under the eyes because I think that one shade looks really nice just like smoked out But I am going to add something in the waterline So I'm just going to use this crumb gel liner from ColourPop This is their nude one in the shade called Honey Dude and I love this one I love their crumb gel liner. So I'm just going to place that in the waterline 
Now I'm just gonna put on some mascara. I'm gonna use this L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara, and then I'm gonna pop on a pair of lashes. Lashes I'm actually going to use are these ColourPop ones. These are their Falsies Faux Lashes, in a style called Chick. So they're really pretty. They're like kind of thicker towards the outer corner and they're really beautiful. So I'm gonna try them on and then the look will be complete. Okay guys, so that is the completed look using this adorable little palette here from ColourPop. So this was such like a fun start to the year because I just think that ColourPop always releases amazing new products and I love these little mini palettes. I think that they are, first of all, just so adorable and the quality is amazing. At least this one right now that I use in my eyes, I can just tell that it is so pigmented, it is so creamy. And I just love it as you guys saw how all the shadows performed. I really love the formulations. I love how you get like your mattes, your beautiful, really bright metallics, and also those pearl ones that kind of to me perform more like matte kind of satin shadows. Even though there is like a little bit of shimmers in there, you don't really see them that much. So I really, really love this palette. I think that this one, if you guys are like a cool tone eyeshadow lover and you love like your grays and like your silvers, then this little palette here will come in handy amazingly because this is like all you need. Honestly, these five shadows are really, really great. And I love this look that I actually did, even though I don't really think that cool tones look great on me. I wanted to use this palette first because I feel like I just thought it looked like so pretty and it was different. So I really am happy that this is the first palette I used. I do plan on using every single palette and creating a different eye look using them. So let me know if you guys do want to see like every single palette in like a separate video. I do have to say that the packaging isn't the best on this palette. Like it feels a little little bit cheap it's just like plastic and I guess you can't really ask for so much because this was like you know it's just like a little palette so I didn't expect anything crazy but you are getting like a nice like sturdy plastic but it just doesn't feel that great so it's a little bit on like just like the cheaper side but I mean for the price point you can't really ask for much more because for me I just think the quality of the shadows is outstanding and it totally just like takes away from like maybe like the quality of the palettes itself and I do love the way that it's clear so you can see the colors of the shadows and I just think that it's just a really great product if you guys love eyeshadows then you will love these little palettes I love how they're all like kind of color coordinated so this is like the like gunmetal kind of palette and I just think that it's just a really great product and I loved it so let me know what you guys think which palettes that you guys have your eyes on if you're gonna get them all or if you're just gonna get like a couple of them I would love to know and also guys don't forget that I will have my swatch video up when you see this video so if you do want to see these swatches of every single shadow from all five palettes and like my first impressions then watch that video I will of course, I'll link that in the description box. And guys, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And also click that notification bell so you guys can be alerted whenever I post a video because I know that sometimes YouTube changes everything so my videos can kind of get lost or some people just don't even see if I've posted a video. So definitely click the notification bell and that will help a lot. So love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.